Hello, I'm Bruce Yang, and today in Homemade Science, we're going to take a look at a trebuchet in action. Now, as a teacher, I found having students build trebuchets was a great learning experience, and we've built them in all different sizes using common materials. In a future video, I'll show you some of these, and I'll also show you step-by-step -step how to build one for yourself to get you started. Now in this video, I want to show you some practice throws that we're taking with our big machine for a special event we're hosting in the near future. Now we usually throw pumpkins with this machine. throw milk jugs and then we're going to practice with a block of wood which later we're going to set on fire. We're practicing for next week when a television crew comes in to shoot an episode of do-it-yourself science. Now to pull this arm down I'm using a pulley system which has three wheels on the top, two wheels on the bottom. So the mechanical advantage of the pulley system plus the arm acting as a first class lever allows me to lift 600 pounds of counterweight easily by myself. Alright, that looks good. Take the safety off. It's ready to go. That shot was a little bit too long. We need to take some weight off and shorten the sling to try and keep the jugs in the yard. Better, but it's still a little bit too long. Perfect. Now that the sun's going down, I'm going to stop throwing these water jugs and we're going to take off the sling that has ropes attached to it and we're going to switch over to these other two blocks. On closer inspection, we'll see these towels are stapled to the block and it has a chain attached to it instead of a rope. Now we have thrown both of these logs without lighting them on fire. We've adjusted the length of the chain and also the amount of weight that's pulling the arm down just to ensure that it stays within the yard. Ready? Three, two, one. Here's our block. Here's where it landed. And that's about 250 feet away from the machine. That's about right where we want it. Our safety precautions include recent rains to keep the ground nice and wet. We'll have plenty of water available and part of our help will be two volunteer firemen. Now we're adding a small amount of kerosene to the logs to help them burn, but we don't want to damage the machine, so we've added some metal to protect it. After waiting around for a while, it's finally gotten dark enough for us to set up for our first test. This is something that we've wanted to try for about 15 years now, and we're finally getting the chance to do it. Oh, we need to release it. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Holy moly. Wow, that really worked. Wow. Make a great 
video down. Three, two, one. <laughs> we left a little bit right here. <laughs> well, this certainly was a lot of fun, but I do want to stress that these machines and working with fire can be very dangerous. Please don't try any experiments without taking proper safety precautions and having adult supervision. Now, after several trials of throwing fire, we thought the machine would show some burn marks, but it looks like it's come through in pretty good shape. Not only aren't there any burn marks on the supports, but I don't even feel any soot. That's really surprising. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on the trebuchets, and as always, I want to thank you for watching. Okay, bye.